Oh my god. Hello. It was good, was good, was good. Hello. Hey. Come on, gentlemen. Into the Smack Shack. Range. First day. What up? Cindy, where are all the washing machines? I fucking told you. They're not here, you dumb the fuck. You didn't listen to me. That's why the I wanted to go to the warehouse. Dead. The trailer's empty. We moved it all. Can I just say something? This place is a fucking dump. <laughs> I know we upgraded. We, we expanded. Well, this you is say, an upgrade? Like, Are you fucked? No, no, we upgraded from this. What the fuck did you guys do to the smack jack? Look, we had the, we, we had the, the moment of rush, man. Here. We, we moved them. They're in a better place now. Okay, look, look, we, look, we, we had to pull it off. It was an emergency. We thought we were getting raided. We had, we had to clean the entire place out within half an hour, okay? Which we did successfully. Okay. I'm just going to operate off of an uh, assumption of trust that everyone here will uh, be discreet with what we're discussing, and I'll just lay everything out transparently. Uh, we at the company don't... Well, we are looking basically for partners to clean our money. Now, we have several avenues of this that we can go about. Uh, the project manager who leads our, you know, who's part of the company and who leads our division in terms of cleaning money is Sly. Sly, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Um, what's up, guys? My name is Sly, also known as Malcolm. Nobody don't really call me that. Um, to be honest with you, I don't remember too much. I had a, a bike accident recently and lost almost all my memory, but I've been doing a lot of, I would call it homework to try and catch up to speed. So I know this is OTT. I now know this is Mickey. Dundee, we crashed into you a while ago in the tow truck. Nice to meet you. Uh, he sounds like KJ. And who are you? Sorry. It's like Zulu. Like we spent so much time together. You don't remember me. I'm sorry, brother. Don't take it personal. Okay. No, that's fine. We'll have to catch up. Okay, so we've brought our project manager who is suffering from amnesia here. This is a great showing from us. Really great. Um, jokes aside. At least I'm up to speed and I have been doing what I had to do. True. Uh, jokes aside, and the simple thing is this. We have money that's coming in that needs to be clean. We have several sources of this money. Just so everyone is clear, and I'm going to outline the process from... Let you know. I know there's other sources of this, but let's talk pharmaceuticals first. Weed. It's rolled cash. The rolled cash is then cleaned in a laundry machine to become washed cash. The washed cash is then taken to the VU to do a cash run. I don't even know if it's the VU. It's taken somewhere to do a cash run, mm -hmm. and then it becomes actual cash. Correct. 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 Okay. Secondly, there's another source of this money in the form of banded cash. I don't even know what the fuck to do. What do we do with banded cash? Does anyone know? As of right now, nobody knows. We don't know. That's a problem. Going to be because... watching the turbo coggers. Anyone try that? Because I don't have a fucking clue. You have no, access to one of those? What is a turbo? What do you call it? It's a turbo coggers washing machine. All right. What is that? Shall, shall, I, discuss, shall I discuss Mickey or... Yeah, go ahead. So, if you rub the, la the laundromat, there's a chance that you get a blueprint for a Turbo Coggers washing machine. From what I've heard, apparently, instead of holding 500 bills, it can hold 750. And I believe it operates 25% faster. What I don't know is if it can clean different types of cash as well. All I know yeah. is wash all washing machines can do rolled, but it's just an avenue to try, but I don't have the hardcore facts. It's simply a rumor. But, uh, this washing machine is better than the other washing machines. Uh, you still want to need a fuck ton of them. And I don't know how many you can make if you have a blueprint. But if I can get access to that blueprint, <laughs> only someone had one, then I can go and experiment with that. Uh, Civ Gang has one, apparently. And from what I was told, and I don't recall who told me this, it might have been Cal. Um, was it Cal? Somebody. They basically alluded that uh, Civ Gang has tried and it does not clean the um, 
the thing that we want. Makes sense. Banded cash is not dirty. Banded cash probably needs to be cleaned through some other system. Um, we can, yeah, I maybe have something we could try with it, but yeah, it depends. We Full tried simply depositing it into a bank. Have you, yeah, either that or have you tried to sling shit, you know, and try to double in with that money? Ah, you'd be the perfect man for that guy, Jay. Yeah, if yeah. that's the case, because that's one way we did it back in the days. I think we need to look into how to move banded cash, especially because we are doing more contracts starting this week. Uh, contracts is what we refer to heists, dark web contracts. So we're going to have a lot more of that money to move. Um, what I'm trying to figure out is what makes the best sense for us at the company in terms of volume, price, efficiency, and safety, etc. So, fly. And I, you know, again, we can have sidebars to discuss this. Nothing has to be finalized in this meeting. Fly has been cleaning stuff for us. What I'm wondering is if stuff we get from our smaller operations, contracts or even roof running or other things, we can clean through Sly and our in-house operation. But when it comes to the amount of money that KJ has talked to me about that we're moving up here in Sandy, I think we need a, a big operation for that. So what I'm proposing is that we look to potentially partner with Dundee and Dex to do that movement for our pharmaceuticals. And hopefully if that, and I think one of the main draws of that and, and KJ, you can correct me if I'm wrong, would be to have a fuck ton of washing machines here in Sandy at this trailer to keep it all right here. Thoughts, anyone? Well, KJ, I'll let you talk first. No, I think it can be good. The only problem would be how we hand it off and if people are watching, you know, especially the cops. So we know they like this to hide in bush. Yeah. It's also trailer. in my name. So this trailer is hot, is in your name, and okay. Who is yeah. the warehouse in name under? Not mine. It's on the Dex's. So you were working with Dex, am I correct? Yeah. So what is your guys' prices when it comes to all of this shit? 10%. You give us rod, we give you cash. I think uh, I think the best way we could do this. Cash is like, your, are we I, talking about cash like street cash. legal or washed? You could take the cash I give you, you could take and buy a brand new Camaro down at the fucking Mosley shop, mate. It is clean, spendable, perfectly legal tender. Okay. Mm. Is, there, is there a okay. way that you... Mm. Is there a way that you guys would be able to buy the money off us in advance? So, so here's what the, he said. That's basically what he was saying. Okay, so, so, here's, how, so here's what I'm proposing, right? So mm -hmm. I need a week because I had a setback. I had, the five, I had to buy five blickies because some motherfucker wanted to fuck around and find out. I told him a lesson. Now I've got five blickies I don't know what to do with. So I mean, I mean, how much did you pay for them? 20. A piece? Please. Are they PD or are they Civ? Civ Tender, 1911s. Okay. I mean, hold on to them. You know what I mean? I mean, the Don't company doesn't really need though. guns right now, but I mean, uh, having guns is pretty big. So, yeah, we're going to hold on to them, but it just cost me all my capital. We had to spend uh, 100 plus grand on them because ammo, magazines, bullets. It was over 100,000. That was, uh, that I was meant to invest that in washing machines. Can I, can, can I, can I, can I ask you a serious question? Course. Are you gonna fuck us? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, cunt. No, I'm not gonna fuck you. Is Dex gonna fuck us? Because, you know, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. You and Dex together on the same team? I... I'm just hoping that, like... We don't give you a fuck ton of money, and next thing you know, it's somebody's getting raided, and that fucking warehouse is gone. And fuck. There's no risk for you. Hear me out. Let me, if you would listen to how this works, you would understand Please, there is no on. risk for you. It is simple. You get paid immediately. This isn't a, let me take your money, let me run it, wash it, and get back to you with the profits. This is, you come to me with dirty money, 
and on the immediate transaction of dirty money, you will instantly receive clean cash. There is no waiting. There is no test. There's no waiting around. You give me $100,000 dirty cash right now, I will immediately, upon receiving that cash, return you $90,000 clean. Okay. There is, yeah. there is no, there's nothing to lose here. The only thing that could go wrong is if the transaction itself, for some reason, goes bad. That's the only risk that you undertake. Once, once I receive the dirty cash, it is out of your hands. You never think about it again. It is done, dealt with. It is now my problem and my problem only to fix and solve to turn that into my profits. You how much volume profits immediately? How much volume can you handle? Well, I'm looking to. I was meant to. I was meant to double my capacity literally today, but that didn't work out. Uh, like I said, I'd, 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 uh, I'd stand on gang business. So give me a week. I could double my capacity. I'm looking to buy a hundred thousand dollars a day. Right. A day. A day. Jesus fuck. Okay. That I'm looking is to buy one point two million dollars a week. Okay. With all that in mind, uh, can I have a brief sidebar with uh, sidebar? Yeah, we need it. Yeah, with yep. with Sly, KJ, and OTT. Oh yes, yes. Uh, uh, please, please take a seat. Take a seat. I'll, I'll just be over here. I wish you cleaned up a little bit, you know, before we met up here. What is all this money? Sly, what do you think? Okay. To to be honest with you. Why are we doing this when we can literally do this come entire the, thing ourselves the within the company? Is he in the company? No, he's a contractor. No. Okay, what about Dex? No. no. Benji don't like him at all. We tried to go down that route. It's just not going to happen. Uh, the reason... The reason because, okay, full look, transparency, the, way the reason I see is volume. It. That's why. The way mm -hmm. I see it, right now... If he's if KJ is saying he's needing like hundred K done a day, then all we gotta do is make sure we have the money and such ready and we just ramp up our washing machine capacity, right? Like that's basically what Dundee's doing. And we do let's say for example, I'm doing what we're doing right now, and he's doing the same thing. It's just another avenue for us to take, but then you're spending more money on top of it because he's taking ten, whereas I'm taking seven. Yeah, I mean, it, it really just all depends, Sly. I, I think, I think the con yeah, I think the concern, and and Mickey can speak up if I'm getting this wrong, and I share the same sentiment. The concern is the amount of money that weed is printing for us. It is a substantial amount of cleaning, and as of right now, we do not have the infrastructure that you, like you don't have the infrastructure to clean that much volume. And, but the, you know, the real this, question is, is it actually going to be a hundred K every single day? That we don't know. Um, give me a sec. Because the way I've been working with Perez so far, it's been like 21, 42, and we've been keeping up with that every day. It will well, be and more that's just, like, that's just like, Two hundred fifty thousand dollars every day. That's not even. What? What? Yo, it's a lot. It's a lot of money, man. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot of money. Sly, this is what this is why Sly, running this operation. The other thing is Sly, you man, like, like you said, you're you're handling stuff from Perez with Moonshine. Guys, we also have new money that's going to be coming in from contracts. We have random roof running and other like we have all sorts of stuff running money my i'm feeling sly like this should be you oversee all this and if you want you can manage the partnership and between you know with Dundee and dex but i think we have to bring them on to handle our volume i mean the only other thing that i can think of is we buy them out so basically instead of it not being in-house, we work out a deal where we purchase all of their washing machines. Yeah, we we're talking about pushing six. Yeah, basically I'm, I, I, I went small here, us, okay? I'm even though they kind of How much I do. know that we can push. And then that way we have full access to everything that they have. And we can keep the shit where it is. They make some money. And we just basically <laughs> take it over. Because 
the way I look at it is we can actually do this ourselves. Sly is right. We could, in theory, go ahead. We have the blueprint right now to make washing machines. We can get as much materials as we want through myself or Dragon. We can make as many washing machines and we can have everything in house, which would basically cut off the vast majority of our overhead. Or if we don't want to do any of that, we just want to focus on what we're doing. We let these two, we give them a chance. We let them take the 10% and we see how it goes. What are you thinking, Slap? Because at the end of the day, I still want to give you work and you business because you are part of the company. But on the other hand, I do think that we need to look for partners when instead of just doing like we can't just do everything in house. You know, we might I need mean, to look for partners. I mean, we kind of can when we're this big, though. I mean, we're big. I mean, we're all we're all like separated in different areas, right? Like that's why I am taking charge of this part. I'm a little nervous about Dundee X Dex. The first see, thing like that, that I said to him, it was that about the 4% in itself is enough and he, for me. He, he was already upset about it. These two are going to butt heads. It is going to be a hot mess. That doesn't mean I'm not willing to give it a try, but I just want you to guys to know that this is, there's a high probability that some shit is going to go down between these two. Let's not forget Dex is in his fir fourth like home right now. Right, so, so how long do you need Sly to ramp up your production when you get to like the cleaning shit? Because I already started fucking, you know, getting ourselves some washing machines. My idea was to get like 30 machines up north. That will give me roughly 15,000 per three hour. In nine hours, I will be able to push out 45k. Clean, you know, watch money. Okay, so, but then we need to ask ourselves um so you say up north yeah See, the new house like you bought in that you don't know your house. own are you doing oh, you know okay. it the one i heard I told, about it but yeah anyway. so i told you to send some money is the is the company house we have up in Polito. i haven't given you access i haven't given you a key to it yet I'm just waiting for you kind of like get back to yourself so i can get you involved in everything we're doing so that's what okay. i mean when i'm talking about up north because then we have the place where we dry our shit. We have as well the money so the people who are pushing on the street can go up there and check it and put everything on and put everything off, you know? Right. Be, how many machines, what, how many washing machines do you have? Right now? We have 12 in the house right now. You guys have Ooh. 12. Yeah. They hmm. have 40. Dex took me in there and it is quite impressive. You guys had 12 and... Well, I mean, see, the thing is, we never had a reason to ramp up that high because yeah. we weren't getting that much. But if we're getting that much, then I can easily chuck in 150000 in washing machines right now. Sly, we're making $86 per bag you were pushing. We're <laughs> That's able why to, I'm running what? weed, bro. Yes. We're, we're able to ramp up the production to a roughly 6,000 baggies a day if we need to right now. We're yeah. ramping up every drying, everything, and we're looking into every avenue of getting this shit pumped out as quick as possible. If we push out, we have done it before, we can push like 3,000 baggies a day. That gives you $250,000 a day with the current stage. Do I think this money will stay like this? It seems like this is Christmas time, you know? So I don't think it will be this good forever. If it's, if it's, if it's Christmas if it's time, my, my vote is this. Mm-hmm. We don't have the infrastructure right now to run this in-house. We partner with them. Mm -hmm. We tell them we run the partnership. We'll work with them. We don't Things need might to change in the future. But for now, we're, I, I think we have to run the partnership with them with this money coming in for us. We okay, just don't have the infrastructure the right now. Fine. If okay, we're going to do it. This is what we do. We don't give them everything. No, I agree. Put it between me and them at the same time. And as part of the partnership, we say that we still have our own in-house cleaning operation that we want to use, but we will also use them. Yeah. Oh, it you, comes you at a caveat. Them. They have to give me a key to that warehouse because I'm awake during the EU hours. Dundee and Dex both aren't. I'm going to be selling a fuck ton of weed. I will be 100 maxed out rep by tomorrow. And the thing is, when KJ needs his money and shit cleaned, I can go into that warehouse. I can load all of the washing machines and leave. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you can you can ask but for that. The problem but that's, with that's that on your, is that's on your you relationship get, with them. I have the problem no with idea. That is you won't get paid instantly. Oh, I don't care. I, I that's but th- we're not going to get paid instantly anyway. No, they said that's they will, what they were that's saying. What, no, that's what they're proposing. They want I know, to buy stuff. But I'm not with cash. Who who's who's getting who's going to be given the money at what time? I don't know. That is not our issue. If they are telling us we give them fifty thousand, they give us forty five in return. Hey, you know, I'm all Gucci. Yeah. If they tell us they can do that, we agree to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that seems also no risk for us. Yeah. The, 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 the path of least resistance is an easy partnership with them while we ramp up our own production. Yeah. And because the process we have so we much just ramp up in cash. Yeah. Sly, you continue to manage the partnership with them. You own the transactions with them. And then also continue to ramp up your own production. Done. All right, we'll do. Yeah, right now for today we have like seventy-five grand, and we kind of like push for an hour or two. All right. Okay. All right. On another note, we do have blueprints, by the way. Uh, I think for the smaller washing machines. So, I mean, whatever washing machines, I'll take them all. I'll even buy a bunch more. Okay. I think they're like. 3k a pop i don't mind all right i think they're cheaper if you yeah use the blueprint i kind of like we have a blueprint ourselves, you know so we're ramping up as well in our house to make sure you know well they need it they need another that the, 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 they need another week before they can even buy buy us at, right now you need another week yeah they, he said they because they 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 just spent 100 grand on guns Ooh, yeah. so they 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 need they need a they need another week we just work around what we can do we can we can have a new conversation in the week with like when they are ready to take our fucking whatever we got we know more as well how much we can you know how about this how, how do you guys feel about this how much how much dirty money do we have right now right now we have like 75 up north we push today. okay what what if we say this we give them the seventy-five thousand right now they give us four of those guns those guns are ours. They now have cash. They clean that. Then they can buy our next set through that money. That gives us four extra guns for the company. Shit's about to get hot. We're going to be selling a lot more weed. Once the streets find out how much money is going around, shit's going to start popping off up here. We're going to need protection. We get four of their guns for 75 k They still have one gun. They clean that. They'll have money within the next... 24 to 48 hours after they clean everything by that time we have sold a bunch more weed then they can start buying from us immediately we don't have to wait seven days um what don't they didn't they want the guns I, why are we why are we getting civilian guns from them that to have protection to have guns to have weapons how are hot we, is it are, up here it's about to be fucking Satan's taint. I mean, guys, we're we're talking about pushing a hundred thousand plus dollars a day of weed, and we don't have guns. It's foolish. Or we, Does nobody or, have or, guns up here? This is or, like, we, I, I, or we or we partner with them because they have the guns, and then there's no risk for us. The the heat's not on us. Don't what, we also what, have what guns? Heat? heat you were just talking about. Or any heat that's involved in this. I mean, I'm going to be a pure here's fucking... What's gonna, here's what's going to happen. As soon as we get guns, and, and our, I, I, especially if they're civilian-owned guns, we are about to bring all of the attention of the PD on us because we're the ones who now randomly are the first ones caught with a bunch of civilian guns that we bought. And then we're going to get investigated because of that. Yeah, I think um, Reed got fined like 45k today. Because of a gun like that, so the tried to rob that, a the guy. The fact that Dundee went and bought four civilian guns is absolutely insane to me. But and what would be even more insane is if we bought those guns from him. But you are not wrong. We need probably guns. It will be heated when the news go out that there is a lot of money. We need to have like a different operation. How we're doing it? We're trying to set in a different operation. How to do it? Um, so I agree. So with give you. give the give the pharma division the two uh printed guns that we have 
you probably if, if need we're worried that things are going to get hot. The thing I would say as well, right now... You guys still talking about us over there? Yeah, give us a minute, all right? Oh, good. Right now, we are kind of like recouping for all the money we are pushing out from different avenues. It's roughly around six, 700k that we have spent with everything right now to make sure the operation is, also, is up running. And we need to recoup some of the people with some of the money. And that's what we're doing right now. The pushers are not making shit. They're giving the money back and the, all the money will go into the people who've been putting out their own money, you know? Make sure the operation is running. So that is one factor into it as well. Listen, I, okay. I think, I think there's a very short-term obvious thing. That is a group over there that now has four, what I would consider guns that are probably the second hottest guns after a PD gun. They're civilian bot guns. The cops are going to investigate that whenever they figure that out. That shit's spicy, but they actually have some firepower. We, in the short term, go make a partnership with them to handle our volume currently while Sly ramps up production. That's what I would propose. Okay, yeah, but and what happens when change Sly... The fact that the boys out here pushing and they're going to need protection when they're out here pushing. I mean, Ask we can't. be about providing protection as well. Yeah, but we'll, or or we or we pull, or we have two two guns that are. I, I'd way rather have the two guns that we three D printed, as opposed to four civilian bot guns being used. Four civilian. I, you guys realize that how horny the cops will be for that, right? I I, I mean I get it. I, I I fully get it. Okay, and and I'm agreeing with you. And uh, I don't want this to be argumentative. All right, we're not getting those guns. But I also want you to understand that the tide is turning now. And I'll be damned if I'm going to sit, sit up here with a bunch of people that got wrenches and fucking knives while we're selling thousands of bags of weed a day. I, I can't, I don't care if it's a PD gun, if it's a civilian gun, it means nothing to me. What means everything to me is making sure our boys aren't getting robbed and farmed and losing a bunch of money. The streets yeah. are the streets. And the moment that everybody finds out that you're at 80 plus dollars per baggie sold, they will let us do the selling and they will rob you dry with all of the dirty money that you have on you. And if you True. cannot protect yourself, you are done. True. So you are not wrong. Give, but so let's give the pharma let's give the pharma division the guns that have been sitting and collecting dust in our fucking inventory. Let's give them those guns, number one. And number two. Let's maybe consider that for the next week, we might want to just make a partnership with the guys who, even if it's a separate business from them, just said that they bought four guns. Maybe it's best for us to be partners with them and not at odds with them. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not at odds up, with while them. We ramp up, while we ramp up our infrastructure. Yeah, Thing okay, is, that's fine. We have our own operation try to prevent that. What you're saying right now, sitting there with tens of thousands of dollars, we will have a little system up here where we have some watchers and people re-upping you and taking your money and putting it away to prevent that from happening. Because it haven't happened before, we haven't been robbed. But I think as well what you're saying, when the news comes out that we make more money on the shit, more people will be looking towards us, maybe Cyprus, where elsewhere, you know? And we Do we have keys for this house? This? No. We need keys for this. We do a partnership I with them if we're not getting warehouse keys. I don't want to we put need our anything in this house. This house is dude. This should be temp dude. This should be temporary. You're selling right around the corner. It doesn't matter. They are getting watched by the cops on this house. They've been that like three, four times. The cops have been hiding over there watching this house. I know because I've been pushing. We have okay, well, Zulu. Let's okay. not do this house. Okay, come on. Just let me talk. Three houses over there is owned by Sula Nated. We have a car. We have access to put everything in that car and put it away. We have a system. Okay. We have a system. I trust KJ running his system. This isn't some exclusive partnership. Let's just say that we agree with them. We're going to do this. We're going to move money for them. Fly, you continue to ramp okay, up but production then tell them in house. It's not going to be every Forever. day 100k. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we we'll tell them that we'll give them what, we'll give them what we can. We need to give it to them. They'll give it to them. We have another talk yeah. when they're ready to buy some shit, and then we see how much we have. We don't know what happens in the week. We don't know how the prices are looking and how the streets are looking. Yeah, we'll tell them. What, well, exactly. We'll, yeah. Everyone knows that things change. All right. I think we're agreed upon. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sly.
Hello, Mickey. Uh, I think the general consensus is, uh, yeah, we want to move money through you. Uh, not exclusively. We still have our own in-house operation that we want to move money through, but you guys can clearly handle volumes, and we want to give you that opportunity. I think OTT has some other stipulations and some things to make it run smoothly. As you know, Dundee, all this stuff is subject to change as systems change, the economy change, the nature of weed strains, you know, can change. But at least, you know, going forward in the short term, uh, yeah, we want to work with you guys. I'm happy to hear that. And I'm, I'm not too worried about the stipulation. After you've dealt with me for two weeks, you'll only be going through me. <laughs> you can trust me on that one. Okay. Well, when OTT's over here, he can tell you uh, some of his thoughts as well. But yeah, I think this is a good a good partnership. Is he is he worried that I want to fuck him? No, I don't think that. OTT, what were the what were some of the stipulations you had regarding this? I basically told him, hey, in the short term, we want to work with them. We have our own in house operation with Sly that we want to continue to grow, but we also want to. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that we need to move, and we need that volume to be moved. So we're happy to work with them. Yeah. No, I, I have no issues. I think it's all good. Uh, yeah, I'm excited what, then. What about the warehouse key idea you had? Well, I don't need it. If we're gonna, if they're gonna pay us up front, so my my thing was is is Dex showed me this, and uh, Dex already spoke to me about potentially working working with him. He did not mention you at all, so I was I'm a bit thrown back by the fact that your washing machines were actually in his because it was almost as if it was his washing machines, but maybe he just I don't know. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I just, I was just not, ex I thought you had your own operation up north and he had his down, down in the south. So my thing was, is since both of you guys are not primarily in the EU, I was, I was like, okay, well, if I had a key for the warehouse, I could get the money off of KJ and his crew and I can just throw all the shit in the washing machines and walk away. That way, when you guys wake up during an A, the shit is done for you. But if if you guys are just going to pay us cash up front for everything, I don't need to do any of that. So I don't need a key. I just thought yeah, I mean, logistically it would have been, in. yeah, it just would have been uh, easier. But it is what it is. I think uh, if you, if you want to do it a different way, what I can do is you can have a key to this trailer. I have a storage crate here. You just put the money that you want in there, and then when I take it, I'll put clean cash in it, and then you take it. Oh. Well, I don't, I, I don't think KJ wants. Yeah, no wants disrespect, to use this. but I've been up here pushing, and I've been looking at a lot of cops, kind of like looking at the trailer. So I don't know if that's the right choice. Are you still doing that? Uh, that's or no? fine, then. Uh, it is big up inside of here. I mean, we're, we're still using this trailer for moonshine. This is our okay. moonshine base. Do you have your moonshine base here and have people going in and out? And you want us to put like fifty to hundred grand up here, to make sure that, that you can. That's pick it the up. one concern. Yeah, that's yeah. the one concern I do have. So I'm like, this 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 trailer's hot. This is this is the yeah, I know like, this is hot. Something happens here, sort of bitch.